In this video, we are going to study an example of a TML system that includes an spare. This video is organized as follows. I will start with an introduction of the basics of the hardware redundancy and their applications domains. Then I will show how the hybrid hardware redundancy works by describing the behavior of a TML system with spare, a typical hybrid hardware redundancy system. After finishing this video, students will be able to distinguish the different hardware redundancy techniques and how a typical system based on hybrid redundancy works. Let us begin with a brief introduction of what is the hardware redundancy and the different types of hardware redundancy that we can find. The hardware redundancy consists on the addition of extra hardware in order to override the effects of a failed component. That is, when hardware redundancy is used, the purpose of the extra hardware is either detecting or tolerating faults. In this way, the behavior of these extra components marks the different types of hardware redundancy. The active hardware redundancy techniques achieve fault tolerance by detecting the existence of faults and performing some actions in order to remove the faulty hardware from the system. That is, active techniques use fault detection, fault location and fault recovery in an attempt to achieve fault tolerance. On the other hand, the passive redundancy techniques use the concept of fault masking. These techniques are designed to achieve fault tolerance without requiring any action on the part of the system. These techniques rely on voting mechanisms. Finally, the hybrid techniques combine the attractive features of both the passive and active approaches. On the one hand, fault masking is used in hybrid systems to prevent erroneous results from being generated. On the other hand, fault detection, location and recovery are also used to improve fault tolerance by removing faulty hardware and replacing it with spares. According to the system to protect, the different types of hardware redundancy can be applied. Some examples are shown in this slide. For instance, critical systems where momentary erroneous results are not acceptable should be protected by using passive or hybrid active redundancy. On the other hand, long life and high availability systems that should be restored quickly after a fall is detected must be protected by using active redundancy. Finally, very critical applications with the highest reliability should be protected by using hybrid redundancy. As an example of a hybrid hardware redundancy technique, we are going to study the behavior of a TML system that includes also a spare. The idea here is to provide a basic core of N modules arranged in a form of voting configuration, and spares are provided to replace failed units in the NMR code. The benefit of this system with spare is that a voting configuration can be restored after a, after a fall has occurred. The basic behavior of this system is as follows. The system remains in the basic TML configuration until the disagreement vector determines a fall. The idea is to compare the output of the voter with the individual outputs of the modules. When an error is found, the module which disagrees is labeled as faulty and removed from the TML core, and the spare is switched to replace it. In this, in this slide, we can see three working modules called M1, M2, and M3. These three modules work as a TML system. That is, the final output, signal O, o in the slide, is generated by the voter V using the output signals generated by each one of the modules. Before the voter does its work, the modules' outputs are connected to a switch. This switch will reconfigure the system in the case one working module fails. In this case, the spare module, called R1 in the slide, will substitute the failing module. On the other hand, there exists also a fault detector called FD that generates two error signals, F0 and F1. These two signals point whether one of the modules M1, M2 or M3 is erroneous. Then, with this information, the switch is able to change the faulty module with the spare. With this configuration, this system is able to tolerate two faults with just four modules. The reliability is maintained as long as the pool of spares is not exhausted. To do it in a passive approach, we will need to have five modules. 
To summarize what we have studied, we can say that there exist three types of hardware redundancy. Active hardware redundancy that achieves fault tolerance by detecting the existence of faults and performing some actions in order to remove the faulty hardware from the system. Passive hardware redundancy that maxes the faults and achieves fault tolerance without requiring any action from the system. And hybrid hardware redundancy that combines features of both the passive and active approaches. We have seen also an example of how the hybrid redundancy works. In this case, we have studied a TML system with a spare that allows detecting two faults just using four modules. Thank you very much for your attention.